man barely alive. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. We have the capability to make the world's first bionic man. He's not in this trailer, sir. Well, where in blazes is he? It's almost 0700. I'm sure there must be some explanation, General. Hang that. General. What's going on here? Where does he think he is? That's how we starting off. Starting off how I got into the accident. I'm in the turning lane. Somebody jumped the turning lane while I was turning. We ran into each other, head on. I broke my neck and my vertebrae in three links. During my whole healing process, uh, one of my brothers mentioned that uh, this the most love he ever seen anybody get, you know, during anything that was going from healing up from, through something traumatic. So, I just thank God that I haven't burnt as many bridges as I've built. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just truly blessed and thankful that, you know, um, I have a support system and a family that helped me push and pull through that, that uh, hard situation, because that was difficult. This is gonna blow your mind. You'll never guess where we're going this time. I've been to Amsterdam hundreds of times, countless amounts of times. But this is the first time that Boldy went to Amsterdam, also the first time he was ever on tour in Europe. Couldn't have been a better city to set the tour off. They worked vigorously in the laboratory to rebuild the $6 million man, Boldy James. European culture just in general is different than how I grew up. You know, this is my first time ever experiencing the European culture outside of America. And it's very much so different, you know? This is called preparation. You load the clip up in the morning. A couple prepared, prepared splits. Yeah. You could buy them like that, but I would never buy a pre-roll, ever. I'm living here in Amsterdam. I'm like, yo, I need to meet the alchemist. What are you a dealer of? Yes, I'm dealer in this coffee shop. Oh, if you want, yeah. Coffee will be me, me and Bodhi coming through. I'm a music producer as well. I like, I really. So he's really a dealer, bro. You got dealer on this shit. Meet the dealer. I'm blessed to be in a different lane of traffic when I come out here, so I can't speak for all people. Some people are coming on business trips and just visiting on some tourist attraction type shit. I came on business, so I get to work and play. I have an experienced veteran who, who travels a lot. He's well-traveled, who my tour guide through all this. You know what I mean? Like, you and Al, Y'all know about coming up across the water. I don't. Oh, Al's already here. Let's see. I got you. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Like this. Where Al at? Oh, yeah. Al's already here. You know, I got to outdo him. <laughs> they know me out here. <laughs> Just sign over your shit. Al has like three different ones, right? Yes, I'm done. It's your turn now. <laughs> I signed up to be an artist, you know, be recognized for what I did in a way that was unique and to see the people actually responding. You know, I wanted to carve out my own name and my own niche in this shit. Right now, that's what I'm being recognized for, so. Yeah, I'm definitely trying one of those. What is it? Very tasty, you know? Like honey, nuts. Pistachio. Pistachio. Very good. It's all Thank for you, you guys. Yeah, man, you can. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Give me 9,000 right now. Uh, uh, <laughs> put the money in my hand. Put the money in my hand, right? That's a moat, son. 
Before you eat this burger? Wanna do that? Right, right, nah, right. just just to take Let me light my weed. Get your weed. Get your pile on your cigarette. I saw you light when he was lighting it. They were looking at you like they were watching a rap video live. <laughs> they were like, look, it's a live rap video. We were lighting it, had the chain, the parties, the big chopper. They don't see things like that out there. With the cheese. Yeah. So you wanna get some cheese? I mean, I'm getting cheese, my nigga. Nah, I'm really getting cheese. You know what I'm saying? Come on, let's go get cheese. I mean, we getting cheese, bro. Oh. Early worms get birds, nigga. Cause uh, we were six hours ahead of um, Detroit time. Cali is actually three hours behind that, so I actually had a 33-hour birthday. You know what I'm saying? Cause I got to do the six hours here. I got my whole 24 out of Detroit. That's 30, and then you give me back three on Cali time. So I had a 33-hour birthday. Hello. Hold on, man. Somebody check that clock. What time is it, man? I'm going to tell you what. You know what? Fuck that. It's 12 o'clock somewhere because at midnight tonight, it's my brother Bo Jack's birthday. So you know what? You know what? I think, I think we're going to celebrate right now with Amsterdam. Can we celebrate with y'all? What's up? All right, what we got for my man? All right, so check it. I need y'all to sing with me for my brother. Happy birthday. Y'all going to sing with me? Come on. Y'all going to sing with me, right? I had a 33 hour birthday and then I get six more hours back when I get home. So I'm actually 
traveling to the future and back to the present. But, you know what I mean? Like, it's different. Like, if I call home, it'll just be getting dark here. It'll just be getting light here. Still pitch black at the crib, you know what I'm saying? And then when this light is still light here, when it get dark, they just really getting they, they day started, you know what I mean? Like, this shit crazy, like. <laughs> you in birthday you bag. I, I can't underestimate you. Can't deliver it. I can't underestimate you, bro. I forget you're a killer. What a fucking show, man. Hell of a way to kick it off. This birthday was uh, definitely a, a celebration of life, but it was a different type of celebration. And just Amsterdam in general, it showed me so much love. And, man, you know, I would visit Amsterdam anytime I feel like getting up and yeah for real because I never felt so I've never even felt that much love performing in the states so you know the vibes <laughs> Sprocket. My niggas ballin' semi-pro like I play for the tropics Million dollar spot in Romulus, no condiments Drug dealers anonymous, cleanliness is next to godliness King James on the stack of Bibles, put my hand on it Fuckin' street fame, but I idol to a fam on it Anything they feelin' for the cheap can get my hands on it Even if shit gotta walk around like this But I can stand on it Never had a two for one school doing Visual, see both these very visual you gotta see. You see right now he's visualizing. Bust it down, put the slam on it, smack it up, flip it, rub it down. I had the ham on it, tap it on the floor. Know this shit can take a ten on it. Half a brick of dog, I just put two hundred grams on it. They gonna tell Big Soldier you can't come back to the hood. I'm blowing all these racks in this bitch, man. All this motherfucking PA drip, all this Arigato, Air Pasto, Air Stato. On him so quick, he forgot to thank me. Baseline into my patience, ain't too hella cranky Took all day so I gave her an extra 10 for waiting Riding with it off safety, me, Ellen Yankee We all hot so we probably under investigation Serve all my pops in third person through a third party Prescription medication, six degrees of separation Ferraris. <laughs> <laughs> they love Ferraris, man.